So today I want to talk about stuttering. Um, when I was a kid, I used to stutter a lot. As a child, I had this situation. My mom explained to me when I was older, like this is what, what actually happened to me. There was this period where I was learning to read, I was learning to write, young childhood. And my mom has told me that there was a, a period where, and it would go back and forth. I had basically two, two things that were going on and they would basically toggle back between, between the two. The first one was that I would be fine and I'd be able to speak and I'd be coherent, intelligent, etc. And it would be for about two, two weeks. And then I would have two weeks where nothing, I couldn't uh, have a conversation with somebody, I couldn't speak properly. I had an incredible stuttering problem. And I remember as a kid, I used to stutter a lot. I had a crazy stuttering problem. I could write, but I would write backwards. I was, I'm left-handed. So <clears throat> being left-handed, I can understand the idea of, of writing backwards. Like you, you under, you, the English language is not something that's meant to be written by a left-hander. It's really meant for a right-hander. And if anybody is left-handed, you'll understand because the language is written in a way that you've got to sort of push the paper with the pencil as you're writing versus pulling on the paper. It actually, it feels much, uh, writing left-handed is, or writing backwards is, much smoother than writing forwards. Although I don't write, I don't write backwards. Writing things backwards feels a lot easier and smoother than writing the opposite direction where you're pushing things against the paper. When you're dragging something along, it's easier than pushing it along. So it's not something that, uh, not something that, uh, that, that is super uh, Im important, but I'm a left-hander and I would have this period where I would transition back from being normal to having a severe stuttering problem uh, coupled with writing in writing backwards uh, and then I transition back over uh, and my mom my mom could probably tell the story better than I can because you know she she embellishes quite a bit and and knows more about what happened than me when this is like happening to me when I'm five or six years old and then realistically I don't remember a whole lot of it and my mom wishes that she would have kept something because she said she said that when I was writing and I was writing backwards, you could actually hold it up to the mirror and it would be perfect. Uh, it would you would be totally legible. And so with this whole stuttering issue that I had, I still have issues with stuttering, and I've learned to mitigate it by the use of filler words such as uh um uh, like other words like that. Things that sort of fill in the blanks because the way that it's, the way that it seems to work as a stutterer is that you, your brain already has in its, in its mind, at least this is for me, your brain already has in its mind the things that you want to say, but you don't have the ability to put those ideas really into words immediately you have to sort of think about it in order to get that concept that's in your head into an actual word. And so for me, I tend to fill it in with us and ums, which is not, does not make for very good uh, t t television or YouTube, um, but that's just how it is. Sometimes I have to do that. And if it makes it more enjoyable for me to make the cuts and remove those uhs and ums, I'm fine with that. And if you guys like it, then, you know, let me know. But if you don't like it and you want to actually hear the way that I really speak and think, then I'll, I'll make, the, make everything uncut. But it doesn't make for very exciting stuff because it's, it's a, little bit, uh, a little bit difficult sometimes to be on the stage and be able to think of exactly what you want to say at that exact moment. And that's what it's like being uh, somebody who records a <clears throat> YouTube channel. And I don't want to have to make like 50 cuts to 
every single video because that takes a lot of time. So I would prefer just to think about what I have to say before I actually say it because it makes life easier for me and it would allow me to, per to make more videos. But that's just how it is. Uh, I have to, I have to, as, as a stutterer, I, it's something that I have to work on and it's, it's part of self-improvement. Particularly given me, you know, I'm running for governor in Utah. Now, I, who knows whether that's going to actually pan out or not. And to be honest, I really, it doesn't matter to me whether it pans out or not. It's fun for me and I like having conversations with people and I like bringing up politics and things that uh, they don't typically see. And you know, one of the things that really irritates me about this computer um, is I have an iMac, and it's, it's relatively old, it's probably 2010, no, maybe 2012, I got this iMac, and so it's, a, it's like five years old, and it's, it's, getting, it's getting up there, I can't afford a new one, but I'm looking forward to it. Uh, and so with this old iMac, I have to like stop a video every three minutes so that I can, because it starts to get all jumbly, like I can actually see my face in the screen. And, and when it starts to get all jumbly and seems like it's lagging quite a bit, I have to stop it, let the video record it, let the video finish processing and then start a new video. And that kind of drives me nuts because now I got to go into, into the freaking final cut and fix it all. It drives me freaking crazy. But that's just how it is. So anyway, about the stuttering, I just wanted to say that it is possible as a stutterer, like even though I still am a stutterer, and you can hear it in some of my videos, and I can see it in some of my videos, that I still do stutter a bit where I'll, I'll repeat the same thing like one or two times. I actually have a son. Uh, my third child has the same kind of issue, except for instead of, instead of trying to, to slow it back, he just repeats the same thing over and over again. Um, so he'll say, if he's like going to ask me if I like ice cream, you know, he'll say something like, do you 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 like ice cream? Something like that. He'll say the same thing over and over again, which is very similar to stuttering. And uh, it doesn't seem quite as intense you know, as a, as, as a traditional stutter, like what I just did, as a traditional stutterer, it doesn't seem quite as staccato, but it does do the same effect. It's where your brain is trying to think of what to say before you actually say it. And sometimes you can't put the words into your mouth before your, like your brain sort of works faster than your mouth does. And that those of us who stutter, we have a hard time. We're good at visualizing concepts, but not necessarily putting those concepts immediately into words. And that's really what it is. Uh, so for the rest of us, we've learned over time to minimize that by slowing things down, by putting in fillers. And that's just what, what I've learned to do in terms of fixing the stuttering problem. And it doesn't work 100%, but it makes it better. All right, well, that's about it. So if you want, uh, check out my website, meatbagmcmurka.com. I'm running for governor in Utah, uh, Pirate Party candidate. Want to abolish all taxes, all regulations, uh, secede from the United States, uh, sell all, all government land at $10,000 an acre and give it back to the people of Utah and then cede the power of the individual states of U or the, of the state of Utah, cede all that power down to the individual municipalities to make a, a competitive system of governance. If you like what I have to say, then donate to my Patreon. If you don't like what I have to say, then you can go uh, tell me. Look, I probably won't respond to you, but you know, like they hate. I'm a busy man. I got things to do. All right, have a good one. Bye.